This is an epic showdown between the Skoda Octavia and the Audi A3. So now we're going to drive on the road and we're going to see how much of this water actually falls out. And now we're going to check it out. So let's see. I hope the road is good. We were driving for quite a while now in the search for some good straight patch of road. But we thought we'll take a break and do some reviewing again. We wanted to see which car has more boot space. When it comes to boot space, this car is a clear winner. At 590 liters, it's so big that even I can fit into this boot and comfortably, which I won't, but yeah. Now I have two suitcases. I'm going to show you exactly how much space there is. And these suitcases are large. Look at that. So easy. Right off the bat, you can see there's so much space. There's even more space for different items which I want to put in. Now, I think we should see the Audi space, which I don't think it's worth it, but yeah. Next, it was the Audi stone. So the Skoda Octavia, 590 liters of boot space. That's actually quite astounding. Uh, being a luxury sedan, that's actually really good, you know, it's got a great boot space. But being a little more sportier than the Skoda Octavia is the A3. The boot space is 425 litres, not that far back. But ample enough space to fit in luggage for 3-4 to four people. I'll just show, show you all how much space is there, putting in the same suitcases. So, the first bag in fits quite easily. And the second bag should and will fit in quite smoothly too. As you all can see, that has enough space and a little more room, but a little less, little less space than the Skoda Octavia, which, I mean, if you're looking at a sportier vehicle, it doesn't matter, right? After destroying Dhruv's Audi yet again, we continued our journey in the search for some good straight patch of road. But after driving a little bit more, we came across this beauty. empty beach with little to no people and two amazing cars in our hands. You can only guess what happens next. So somehow we landed up on an empty beach. I mean, look around. Nobody, nobody. No, no one over here. This beach is epic. So now we're going to do some very interesting things. You so know what this calls for? What do you think we should do? I think I think we should test the beasts. The beasts, you mean, what? not the beasts. No, I think, I think look beast. at look at the face. Look at the face. You clearly know who's the beast. Look at the split headlights. And this has 180 bhp. I mean, yeah, this is 150, but the mm. torque's going to take you. Let's see. What do you let's, think? Let's test it out. After having some fun on the beach, we thought that we should check the performance of these cars. The beach was empty, it was straight, and I think it was perfect. So first, we started with the Octavia. 0 to 100. 3, 2, 1, go. It's not a good idea, it's slipping. <laughs> you got right through there. <laughs> we didn't hit 100, but it's not possible. <laughs> so, kids, what? <laughs> kids, don't try this at home. <laughs> what we learned today. After failing to reach 100 kilometers an hour, we thought we should try again. Traction control off. We're going to try again. 3, 2, 1, go. Slipping a lot more. Oh, sorry, eighty, <laughs> not hundred. <laughs> it's not possible. Not possible. After failing the second time, we thought we'd switch cars and see if the Audi can do any better. Now we are in the Audi. 
Dhruv, are you ready? I am traction Yola, control off. Traction control off. Okay, perfect. You want to put on some beats? No, so no beats. No, no beats. <laughs> okay. Ready? I am ready. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. I think I think I can do it. You can? And then it was time for the second run in the Audi. Now we're gonna try again. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> I don't think you can do that. Stop. Stop, you don't have That's on the, I touched 96. Nice. Just you stopped me just yes, a yes. second earlier. The beach was over. <laughs> just a second earlier. Clearly, it outdid your car. I gotta give you that. You can say whatever you want about the water not spilling, <laughs> but when it comes to power. Yeah, you get this one. <laughs> After a marvelous experience of going head to head with the two cars, it was time to go home. So guys, now we are on the highway and we just stopped for a little break and we are on our way back to Bombay. And what do you think? Did you have a good time? Amazing time man. I, I mean, I had a good time. I was, it's, a way, it's way more surprising than what I found with the results. Quite, quite uh, not expected. That this one, right? No, no, this one won. I mean, uh, this one was. It, it, it had a marginal better performance than what I expected. Marginally. That was ah. a Harley, by the way. <laughs> Marginally. But I think both the cars are really powerful and uh, there's nothing that beats the Scott Octavia for luxury. But if you want a sporty car, I wouldn't leave this car at all. Yeah, I think we can end on that note. So, thank you guys. There are no winners or losers at the end of the day. Both these cars are designed extremely well. The fact is, you don't drive a car just to go from A to B. You enjoy the car, become a part of it, feel every vibration, every sound within. It's truly amazing where technology has taken us. And I can't wait for what's to come in the future. But for now, it's time to sign off. And I hope you enjoyed this series. See you in the next one.